Would you introduce your child to contraceptives or condoms? And at what age would you likely introduce or educate a child in contraceptives and condoms? How dice is such question is, you would say. Welcome to Mata Africa and Television Nigeria. This is a program where we discuss serious issues affecting women and children in Africa. Today, we shall be taking a look at one very crucial yet delicate topic. African parents most times hate to discuss, either privately or in public. I am Patience Ekonyoye Daniels and I will be right back after this short break. In case you just joined in, the program is Mata Africa and the question on today's episode still remains the same. Would you introduce a child to contraceptives or condoms? And at what age would you likely do so? According to a study released this March by Thompson Reuters, the number of teenage girls on the birth control pills has jumped to 50% in the last decade in the US alone. It is said that one in five American girls between the ages of 13 and 18 that is two and a half million teens in all under birth control. According to Dr. Mary Rosa, a gynecologist in UK, in New York, rather. According to Dr. Mary Rosa, a gynecologist in New York, young girls of 12 are being placed on birth control, which she attributed to the increasingly young age at which girls begin to menstruate, as some do so as early as 10 years old and also the rising number of sexually active teens. She says almost half of teenagers aging between 15 and 19 have had sexual intercourse at least once and most parents come to doctors seeking birth control prescriptions for their daughters to regulate menstrual periods and prevent teen pregnancy. She further says it is okay to have their teenager on the pill if they are ready to go on it and if they ask for it. That is, it is safer than having a teen pregnancy. The issue of sex has been one topic that most parents find so hard to discuss with their teenagers. To some, the topic is a no-go area for discussion and for some, the approach to introducing it to their teenagers seems more of a huge task, laden with morals and religions most seems to just let this thing learn on their own. In Nigeria, for example, it is a common sight to behold a pregnant thing. There is hardly a location where we don't find them. The rate at which these things get pregnant is at an alarming rate. We have read cases of things that will get pregnant and would rather try terminating it without their parents' knowledge of it, thereby causing harm to their bodies. Now let's talk about sexually transmitted diseases. It seems we are more concerned with preventing pregnancies that will forget to understand that STIs and STDs are even some of the dangers teenagers risk when they get involved in unprotected sex. Whereas most of them do not know. A visit to hospitals and labs will shock you. a look at this few clips and hear different opinions from various people about this. It is important that teenagers are provided with uh, comprehensive sex education that allows them to understand the pros and the cons of engaging in premarital sex. In that sense, you're not just providing them with 
or educating them on the moral context of sex which emphasizes abstinence but you're helping them to have appropriate information that would influence their decision making process so for me i will teach my teenage child about contraceptives but i will let him know that there are also consequences of um, sex premarital sex that are beyond um, stis or um, teenage pregnancy so i'll let him understand that the psychological emotional and spiritual impact of involving in sex before marriage so for 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 him his decision would not be based on ignorance his decision will be based on um, appropriate information provided so he will be making decisions based on personal conviction based on personal values based on what he knows is the right thing to do not just because i i refuse to give him the right information again if you don't teach them the right thing someone out there is going to teach them and you might not be there to provide the balance or, or give them the comprehensive view of why they should not do what you want them not to do so it's good i teach him so that he's, he he doesn't go out there and get exposed to information that may not be provided correctly. There are a lot of things that come with sex, STDs, the HIV virus. How do we go about it? Contraceptives does not stop the HIV virus from spreading. Neither does it hinder every other STDs from being contracted. But then, after instilling all the moral after reaching abstinence as a parent, after praying, I think it's time we come to face reality. It's happening. A lot of teenagers in our midst are sexually active. And so many parents, the problem with so many parents is that we live in denial. We just assume these kids are as innocent as we think. A lot of things are happening. And when you get to relay with a lot of teenagers, you realize that Aside from peer pressure, so many of them, so many of them are knowledgeable in some things that you as a parent will begin to wonder, where did they get these things from? The more reason we have to be real. Yeah, no, we've preached, you've preached abstinence, you've instilled morale, but then you have to be real. And the reality of it is that no matter how hard you try, these kids will still find a way around those things. So without missing words, yes, I'm going to introduce the condom to my teenage child. I would teach my child sex education, which includes teaching what's telling what sex is all about and the dangers of unprotected sex. Yes, and I also make my child to understand the available options. Like, I would encourage abstinence. I would emphasize abstinence. I would tell my child, I want you to wait. I would love you to wait. But these are ways to protect yourself, you know, to protect yourself from unwanted pregnancies and sexually transmitted diseases. So I think it's just, it's better to be honest. It's better to be honest because if you fail to tell your child the available options, your child can get the information from the internet or from friends. And, uh, you know, there are so many, so many, in fact, we're in the age of information overload there's so many information out there so i would love to do the job myself tell my child i would love you to wait but these are ways you can protect yourself but i would love you to wait because abstinence is the best it's possible you can wait abstinence is the best there's no side effects of abstinence abstinence is the best ever but these are ways you can protect yourself so it's just better it's better to be open and honest than to live to assume that your child is perfect no parents, we like to deceive ourselves a lot. We think that, ah, uh, our kids won't do what we did. Of course, I wasn't a bad girl, but just say, yeah. So it's better to encourage them to wait until marriage, but then we'll make them to understand the available options, the available options. So I think it's better we do this job ourselves than to leave them to the internet or to their friends. My name is Ayodele Olushola Adem, aka Amon Yaroda. My Facebook name is Ayodele Amon Yaroda. Anyway, this question came that 
will you introduce contraceptives or condom to your teenage children? Personally, my own answer is yes. Because experience have taught me that what you don't, what you keep away from children is what they look for. And people that knows me, they know that I always tell my story from within. So I'm going to tell you my own personal experience. When I was in Germany, I had a white girlfriend, a young girl that has never met a man before. So the, the time we were going to do it for the first time, something happened that really surprised me. The mother knew that we were going to do it. And the mother traveled to give us space at home. She bought a lot of condom. She bought a lot of food, you know, and she left us there. And that very day, the woman was calling intermittently to find out whether she has done it. <sighs> so when she came back, when, you know, after the incident, so when the woman came back, I asked her, I said, ah, why? You knew that your girl was going to, and you condone it, and you, you, were even find, you were even trying to find out whether she has done it or not. She said, whether I knew or not, won't she do it? That was her answer. Whether I know or not, wouldn't she still do it? Is it not a honor for me? I mean, for her to do it in my house with my knowledge than for her to go and do it under the bridge. I took that word in. You see, it is when you keep a distance from children they will learn from where you are not existing. They will learn without your knowledge. But when you make them understand that you have gone through this line before and you are ready to support them through it without them falling down, they will open up for you. Some years ago, um, a documentary was carried out on CNN and it was discovered that Amsterdam, I mean, that is Netherlands, has the lowest rate of uh, juvenile delinquency. But I know Amsterdam. I know Netherlands. And I know that you can hardly walk two houses before you will see a brother, before you see, I mean, I mean, uh, where they carry out sexual whatever. So they ask the, in that the, in, in that documentary, they asked the question, there are porn houses everywhere. How come the children are upright? Those children themselves, they answered, it is what you keep from children that they sought out for, that they look for. It doesn't matter to them. Anybody that wants to be wayward will be wayward. Anybody that wants to be good will be good. So, But if you keep most of these things away from them they will look for it especially in their teenage year you know when they are still in their formative years they will look for anything especially the ones you keep away from them but when you open up for them and you give them look if you do this 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 is the consequence so for you not to fall into this line please take so 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 and so precautions that is far better for you than to go and, uh, and be hiding things that cannot be hidden anyway. Because whether you like it or not, still do it. Still find out. And it will be much more terrible if they find it out without your knowledge. No matter how straight or religious or protective a parent is, teenagers seem to be more wise and always have a plan B to outdo them. Does my sound funny, but that's the truth. We have all passed the stage and we know how it is. It is every parent's prayer that their child keep themselves from sexual immoralities. And one of a parent's fear is to wake to the news of their teenage daughter being pregnant or that their teenage son got another pregnant. A greater fear to find out that their child has STDs. So in view of this, would you rather introduce your child to contraceptives to prevent pregnancy? 
Or would you rather educate a child on the use of condoms as a means of protection from estudios? Or would you rather leave them and hold their your prayers? And the moral upbringing instilled into them help them? Well, that's up to you. It's been a wonderful time learning and sharing with you. Thank you for your time till I come your way again next week with another interesting and mind-boggling topic on Mata Africa. As to remain your hosts, I call you Daniel. See ya.